It's dirty, difficult and often dangerous work. Now scientists have revolutionized one of the world's biggest maintenance programs. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted. Um, you're working often in very cluttered and, and uh, confined spaces. And as soon as you start blasting, there's a lot of dust and debris in the air. Debris including asbestos and lead from the old paint. Martin Lloyd says those hazards have been reduced, thanks to the help of a specially designed robot that can think for itself. The robot developed at UTS has the ability to build its own map on the fly. So it scans the environment, works out the best way to scan it, to uh, map it, sorry, and, uh, and to blast it, and then goes ahead and carries out that blasting. Maintenance workers will control the blasters, powerful enough to slice human flesh. But scientists say it's still a safer way to cleaning our beloved coat hanger. Work on the Sydney Harbour Bridge has always been dangerous, even more so when building began in 1924. During the eight years of construction, 16 people died, many by falling into the water. More than 80 years later, improvements are still being made to keep the people making our bridge beautiful safe. Australians spend $200 million each year on bridge maintenance. Experts say it won't just be safer for workers, it'll also be more cost effective for the country. UTS has signed a deal to commercialise the robot design in a bid to crack the international market for cleaning major steel structures. There are more than 400,000 steel bridges in the US and UK alone. And there are a few other world icons that could also be in need of a cleaning soon. Sure, who knows? Yeah, it could well be. Yeah, watch this space. Julia Calixto, World News Australia.